A big convention center is not the place you'd think of for a beehive, but it's an effort by staff here at the Salt Palace to return a bit of nature to an urban area. We think that it's very fitting for the state of Utah as it is the beehive state. Tucked away behind the Salt Palace Convention Center near the Japanese garden. It's a moment of, of calm. These beehives. We thought it was a fun idea at first. The bees were put here by Salt Palace staff as part of an effort by the Convention mm -hmm. Center to increase its environmental sustainability. One of the pledges is green space, which is all about bringing uh, the natural world to the urban world a little bit to the business world. Bees are also facing trouble in the world right now. Bees in general are struggling a little bit, right? Scientists are still a little bit unsure about what's happening, but bee populations are declining. And this is a really big problem because humans rely on over one third of our food supply comes from bees. And so what we're hoping to do is show the importance of bees in our natural world. The bees here at the Salt Palace can travel up to 40 miles a day in search of food. A lot of people in the valley probably seen a Salt Palace bee buzzing around. For sure. Like many places, the Salt Palace has struggled during the COVID-19 pandemic. There's no conventions. But many staffers keep an eye on these busy bees and look to them as inspiration on how to be resilient. Well, our bees are pretty new. We've only had them for a year and a half, about. So we're excited as our industry uh, really gets up and moving again after the virus stuff, we'll be doing a lot of that. So you may be wondering what happens to the honey. Well, it'll be harvested and given to some employees here at the Salt Palace and the company that handles catering. At the Salt Palace, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.